Writing wrongs and giving real news right here, right now. Greetings Petalheads and welcome to RomRom.net, the channel sharing the joy of sim racing and to a regular news roundup. If you have any news for us, send us a mail to news at RomRom.net. Thanks for watching, my name is Serta and I will be your host for this video. What do we have here? Cody's, WRC, Assetto Corsa, R Factor 2, Just Race and WEC with a pinch of salt. Let's go! WRC 10, which will be published on September 2nd, can be pre-ordered now. If you tested it on Steam and found it to your liking, go ahead, otherwise we'd advise to wait. Coming out for PC and consoles, there will be a standard and a deluxe version of it. The deluxe edition will give you access to the sim two days before the official access for the plebs, will have added content to the standard version like a special stage in Rally Deutschland, special members of your team or three months of access to the WRC Plus channel. If you pre-order, you will have access to a historical event where you are Colin McRae racing his Subaru Impreza at Saremo in 1997. Are you struggling to set up your server? Are you unnerved you have to do everything over and over again? And then you decide to set up races with a second sim and it's the same pain all over again? Get yourself to Just Race and use their system for a happy race admin living. In a very cryptic message, Race Sim Studios reminded everyone they have been working with different teams and brands in motorsport this year and told us to watch out for public projects within the next six months. We take it as meaning they have done official mods for those unnamed teams and brands for Assetto Corsa, proving three things. Their excellent work in the past has paid off, Assetto Corsa is more alive than ever and sim racing continues on the rise. We are happy that this renowned group is getting more appreciation for their work for the community and we hope and suppose also some well earned and deserved money. Furthermore, they have done updates to the Formula hybrid 2022 car which owners of a license get free of charge while the whole pack is at 10 percent sale right now and because you learn a couple of things during the years they are going to publish an update to their formula hybrid 2017 cars quite soon and while the idiots from take two are suing mod makers it's good the motorsport world is embracing them after the catastrophe of New Grid, that is only parallel to the catastrophe of Project Car 3, it seems Codemasters, or their sugar daddy EA, who knows nowadays, is trying to keep the Grid franchise alive with a new, old idea. Sifting through the whole marketing stuff, it's difficult to know what they are really planning to do. So after cutting the chaff, and believe me, it's become even more difficult now that Codemasters and EA are babbling along together, we can tell you this, it's going to be a race game. It's going to be similar to the simcades of the franchise. You're going to be able to race permanent tracks, Bronze Hatch and Indianapolis are named, as well as in cities like London, Moscow, San Francisco and Paris. It may or may not be a rehash of the first grid game. It's gonna have a story, it's gonna be out for PC and consoles, it's gonna have drift mode, you will be able to create your own races, even mixing classes. It's going to have traditional tracks and cars, by which we hope they mean classic or historic ones, but our marketing to English dictionary gave up on us here exhausted. Now that you are all racing at Monza with our Factor 2, and I suppose nowhere else, like the 10,000 Assetto Corsa Competizione servers out there, <sighs> Studio 397 has introduced alternative layouts to it, which we expect nobody will use because then nobody would be on your server because they are all on the standard Monza server. Now you can use the Monza Junior circuit and the Monza Grande circuit. 
the former being a much shortened version of Monza that is almost an oval, the latter the standard circuit without the chicane where 90% of the drivers in open servers fail to break in time, the other 10% being swept away by the 90%. Been there, done that, got the t-shirt, saw the YouTube crash collection. While they were at it, the developers also corrected some graphics as well as part of the AI line. But it was not all Monza at Studio 397 this week, they also released a new updated version of R-Factor 2. This version now brings so-called linked sessions, where you can do different races one after the other without leaving the server at all. These may lead to reverse grid races in the future, and while this is a thing that for example Assetto Corsa has had since forever, it's good that R-Factor 2 is getting them too. Maybe. Sometime somewhere in the future. Not only can you have multiple sessions one after another, you can have different weather settings in each session and interestingly enough, you can have the track conditions add up from one race to the other. Rubber buildup, humidity and so on flowing from one session to the other. We don't know any race community who wanted something like that, but maybe now that they have the opportunity to use it, they are going to do so. For mod makers, they have done a ton of changes to flag stations so they are easier to handle and updated the logic for yellow and blue flags. And a whole bunch of cloud graphics and other sky graphics have been tweaked. This is getting almost at a razor level here. Searching for races? Wanting to race a specific sim on a specific date? Or just searching for a community racing your favorite sim? or just searching for a good time in any of the sims, go check Just Race, all sims supported races every day, for a happy racer living. You may have read or heard that there will be a new WEC game coming out in 2023, but we wonder about the reading comprehension of our colleagues as according to the exact same interview, Everybody is quoting from what Gérard Neveu said, the person who was the CEO of the WEC before he went to Motorsport Games as Motorsport Advisor is as follows. 1. There will be a virtual 24 hours of Le Mans this year, yet again, probably in winter. 2. Plans are to extend the virtual series to three other WEC tracks with drivers racing LMP2s and GTEs and no mention of the LMH class, and possibly make it a regular series. Three. There are plans for a 24 Hours of Le Mans sim coming on 2023. Only the 24 Hours of Le Mans, not the whole WEC. 4. There will be more information forthcoming after the real life 24 Hours of Le Mans end of August. That is not to say motorsport games are not working on getting a license for the whole of the WEC, but for now there are no indications they have it even if we are sure Gérard Arneveu has the right contacts. But he's not talking about the LMH class at all and not talking about WEC but about Le Mans means that for now he's only addressed the 24 hours of Le Mans. Which is in line with everything Motorsport Games has said until now and in line with our information of Motorsport Games not having acquired the licenses of the WEC. On the other hand, we wonder about the communication policy of Motorsport Games, where it seems everybody talks about everything and there is not one clear source of information, so you get bits and pieces and try to put them together. For now, this looks only like a 100-piece puzzle but if they continue this way, we'll end up with a 1000 piece puzzle and nobody will know where the pieces fit anymore. And some of our colleagues seem already to have lost track with the 100 piece puzzle. Hey, it happens and I'm sure we don't get it right every time either. It's human nature. And we also have to wonder yet again if having five different sims all based on the same engine is going to be a good thing for sim racing. 
At the moment we have general purpose sims with different DLCs for different series and while the motorsport game sims seemingly will all have the R Factor 2 engine, they are going to be separate sims for every license. I'm not sure this is a strategically sound way to publish, time will tell. I mean, Assetto Corsa Competizione has by far sold less than Assetto Corsa and is used less than Assetto Corsa, but more than all the other sims. Hmm, I don't know. But what I do know is that your life will be filled with joy if you check the playlist to the left or the video to the right. Until next time, save fuel, collect pickup and we'll see each other on the podium.